Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Uh, it's Charles here. Just giving you an update on my uh, eBay selling and, uh, you know, whether or not I'm making a lot of money or not. Uh, if I was ripping people off, um, I would say in general, no. Um, so I finally got my payouts from eBay on the items that I sold. And I sold, let's see, now if you remember when I got my shipment from Sweden, I, um, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I sold seven out of the um, nine items that I received. Um, the others are just kind of sitting there. And one of them I haven't even listed, which is this guy here. This is the uh, cavalry pack or the... Um, experimental, um, what would you call it? The see, I can't even speak today. I didn't sleep very much last night, and thus my speaking is really bad. Um, I had to work early today, so I woke up early. I didn't sleep. My son couldn't sleep either so he came in you know after 12 30 had to wake up at five um kicked him out and uh i just kept waking up early but um that's my that's my problem and maybe yours too <laughs> if you watch my videos but uh basically out of the uh nine items um that i received i've sold seven of them um, and I paid uh, $630 um, after shipping for those items uh, it cost me $175 for shipping to me from Sweden I mean it was heavy stuff I, I don't remember how many kilos or, or pounds it was and that's part of the reason why it costs so much. Uh, they come from the middle of nowhere, so um, the cost for shipping is ridiculous. So you know, I need to buy minimum three or four items that I might get a profit from to try to recoup that shipping. Um, anyway, uh, so my total that I sold. Um, before eBay took their cut was 767 and I received $670 um, from eBay on payouts after shipping and all that good stuff. Um, I still also have that uh, attachment for the KLAS, the, uh, the uh, snow shovel attachment. Um, which I won't show you, you've already seen that. Um, and I netted $670 from the sale of those. So right now I am $40 above what I paid. And I'm not sure if I'm selling this or not. I, I probably will. I really like these things, but um, at the same time I gotta <laughs> recoup some of that uh, money. Um, anyway, uh, so if you, you know, and I know this costs more money for my buyers because they had to pay for shipping to wherever they're from. And I think, was it at least four or five of my items were going internationally. So they're probably paying all these duties and shipping to their respective, um, countries, um, I didn't see, I think one of them is probably from Taiwan or um, Japan. I'm not really sure. I mean, I can't discern from the uh, um, kanji that's written for the, the person that bought it. Um, but uh, I'm thinking from the name, and I don't remember the name. I'm not going to say the name anyway. But uh, I believe it was like a, a Chinese name. So. I'm going to assume they're probably from um, the Republic of China or as we know it in the U.S. as Taiwan. Um, 
and uh, there's a couple of um, European countries there. I'm not exactly sure where they're from. I I had someone buy something from me. They bought uh, an LK35 like two years ago, so right after my surgery, but brain surgery. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's from Belgium or. France. I guess I could really look into eBay if I really wanted to, but you know, when they tell me to ship stuff from the U.S., I'm told to ship it to Erlang or uh, Kansas, and uh, you know, for the global sales. Um, some of these went to probably some shipping place in Oregon or other places like that, the international ones. Um, but uh, it's not like I'm, I'm really profiting greatly from all of these things. Now, some of the things that I sell, like that uh, axe, and the uh, other things that I, we had so many, I had so many uh, watchers that I thought possibly they might pop and give me a little more um, profit, but uh, I just there was, I don't know, you know, sometimes people hold off on the stuff because you know they might be paying these extraordinary um, shipping fees and I get that too um, but uh, like I said when I put things on eBay and if I'm doing an auction I'm usually just doing you know at the max maybe five percent more than what I paid for it including shipping charges that I incurred getting it here uh, so um, yeah and I'm not really sure you know I mean eBay changed a lot of things on the way that they do the payouts and uh, what I've noticed is, is a lot of my things it's about 14% so that's about the same as when I was they're paying it to PayPal and after PayPal's fees plus um, eBay's fees um, it's still around 14% um, but you know that's that's where I'm at right now uh, I did contact the seller of this and you know I, I did get these um, straps and I'll, I'll do a, a later video um, about how you attack excuse me, attack, yeah, attack. So attach this to a belt and how I believe you're supposed to wear it, although I haven't really seen too many, um, any information on how to do this. Uh, you, know, you know, honestly, the most information that I got on this was from Etsy. So there was some seller on Etsy and I think they still have them up there, but they're selling these on Etsy and they show this really thin, um, leather strap going through these openings here and uh, to me it seemed like it was only an inch and a half or one inch strap and I don't think that that's what these things are supposed to be attached to and I'm sorry I don't have my um, two and a quarter um, duty belt to check but um, it's difficult to show on this video right at this moment until I actually get one of those belts. But um, you can see here, they got these openings on these straps um, on the back side. Um, they're supposed to go through these and then go around your waist. And then this strap obviously is going to attach these two here. And then these go and go around that belt the, in the front. Um, also, I had that uh, that pump. I guess that's 10 items, not 9 items. Anyway, I still have that pump too. I don't know if I can even profit from the stuff that's left over. I mean, um, this thing actually cost me about $75 after shipping for this item. Um, I'm thinking that I'll probably only get maybe $50 or $40 possibly and that's before 
eBay takes their their percentage. So um, this is a very nice item. However, it's a, a, a niche uh, type of thing. So uh, you know, I just I'm not sure if I'm you know if I sell this, it's probably going to be worth less than what I paid for it. Although that will add to my total um, my total profit, and if I sell that um, that pump for the, the the bike pump, the tire pump, which I believe is what this is for, um, the one that I bought was too long, so it'll stick out about this far, and I've only got to the end of this. And I'm trying to remember how many centimeters that was. It was 35 centimeters. I don't even know how many inches that is. It was too long for it. And when these were made in 1940, or not, 1939, I don't know if they had a different pump, but I can't find anything that fits this exactly. Um, the last time that I sold these, I did sell one of these before. I just used a uh, an oak dowel, which I cut down to side size, just to put in there. Um, at that time, I had thought that you know maybe these straps would go into that rod here instead of a belt. Um, but with uh, Sharky 4Bs, if you want to take a look on a search engine, uh, he's got. Um, He's got at least one posting, and maybe it's two or three. Anyway, um, he talks about this thing in detail, and he does a great job, and, and he's part of the reason that I decided to buy one of these and check them out. So let's take a little bit closer look at this thing since I'm here. Hopefully I'll end this uh, a little bit quicker. You know, I always drone on about just stupid stuff, but... Um, you see here there is a divider inside um, and it's difficult to see you don't have to use it if you don't want to use this you just put this divider here and now you've got the entire item or <laughs> item the entire bag is open to stuff it with things if you want a divider you can move this thing to wherever you need it or want it to divide this so you get a little bit better idea on this. Um, this thing's pretty interesting because you've got these little rings here. So you put this on those rings and then you pass this through those rings. And this, this pretty much uh, fastens this onto, uh, so you can't open it so easily. Um, so I, I like this it's it's somewhat small and I'm trying to remember the measurements but it's about 12 or 13 inches wide um, you've got about 12 inches length and then this thing is only going to be about 4 inches depth on there so that's not a lot um, where I got this from, it did not send the straps that go right here. Uh, they're going to look and see if they can replace these if I decide to purchase something from them. Um, and they go on to each side of this. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to recover that and then make this a little bit more enticing if I decide to sell this or make some more usable. Um, it's a very small slot inside of here. So this is about the same size as uh, if you've seen my um, favorite um, accessories for the uh, um, Swedish Trangia, uh, Swedish Army Trangia. Um, the straps are very small, but they go in here and then what I'm assuming that those are for is that I could do have some kind of um, cut.
coat or jacket or possibly a bed roll. These straps will help secure them on the side and then it goes underneath the lid. But um, I don't know, that's about all I have. You know, I didn't really uh, make a lot of money. It may have been expensive for the people that bought this, um, but it's not like I'm sitting there trying to rape you for your your purchase. Um, you know, obviously sometimes when you put things up, um, you can make more money. Um, there's been a lot of everything that I sold, I've sold, you know, at least once before and you can make some profit. Um, but a lot of them I, you know, sold it for my cost or even less than that, just so that I can get that money and reinvest in something else and take a look at them. So, um, you know, it's, I guess it's more just a labor of love. Um, if I'm lucky, I can make a little bit of money and I can buy some more stuff. Um, I'm going to um, pay my debt for paying for these on my credit card and uh, purchase some more things and, you know, pay for that stuff again. Anyway, I just want to do a little update. If you guys have some kind of questions or comments or whatever, I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Um, I do work full time. Doing this is more of a hobby. And especially after my surgery, it was more for my recovery so that uh, I had something to do because I was just sitting at home just going do, 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 right? Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And I will post about this maybe on my day off on Saturday or Sunday. Have a good one.